Welcome back everyone, this is Dragon and White here and we are back with another episode of Amazing Cultivation Simulator um, Rise of the Fins Okay, uh, let me throw my face to the side so you guys can see the thing Okay, it Nick, I, uh, whew, what was that? Okay, in any case, uh, it occurred, just occurred to me that in the previous episode I I haven't reviewed footages for the first two episodes yet because you know I've been recording this in a series. I took a break for lunch, uh, not lunch, dinner, and I just came back, and uh, I forgot to pay note to this thing right here, which is let's say my face. I wasn't sure if it blocked anything, but I I will you know try to keep an eye out on it this time. Um, the other thing I want to do now is unchange the speed. So this allows me to set the maximum speed multiplier of the game. Previously it's at 3, I think let's try 5 and see how it goes. Okay, so we are still with on to the tutorial. There's still a lot of bits of the tutorial, so I'm guessing by the time we learn the whole thing, it's going to be like 6 or 7 episodes perhaps. But uh, let's see, maybe it might be faster later. Okay, so let's look at this. This is for outer sac tri treatment. Basically you understand basic treatment methods. Alright, let's see, same thing. Hang on, let's change something. Okay, now check on herb storage. Uh, arrange for, I think, the person to brew medication, make medication, okay? Okay, uh, in the game. <clears throat> Sorry about that. In the game, every herb has its own usage. For example, uh, the Golden South is used for treating physical, uh, superficial injury. A bone connecting paste is for treating bone injuries. Um, okay, I do not know how they're going to translate some of this later, so it might be different from how the English patch comes out or how the English um, version of the game come out. So the little cycle pill or little returning pill treats internal injuries, etc. Uh, when the herb storage is insufficient, um, it is possible that you might not be able to treat injured disciples in time. As a result, the player need to make sure to keep up the herb storage. Okay, so yep. So let's see, arrange for work. The player can... hover over the position to see the requirement and stuff. Okay. Twenty-three, he is pretty done good at this. Okay, click this. Close. There we go. Mm. Make medicine. Produce. Maybe this is more of a powder than a self. I, I might be translating this wrong. I'm not too sure what's the middle word. It requires two herbs, um, common herb, and can be used to treat superficial injury uh, with obvious treatment effect. Okay, click, close, and speed up. There, five times, much better, right? Um, the wow herbs in the game are limited, hence the player can grow a herb field in advance to guarantee a source of herbs. Check on injury, so we click here, and then status and health. Um, 
<clears throat> this is a worsening infection. Impact of 82%, 70, progress of 70, pain of 0 0.2. Okay. Player can hover over the left thigh bone to check on the injury. So this is a bone and uh, impact movement. So the bone infection, osteoitis, basically. Okay, do you want me to close the thing? Go to work. Why do you want me to put him? Okay. So you can see this person has impact on the hand. Yeah. Okay. When the disciple in charge of making medicine is injured, uh, it might come out of a situation where there's no one to treat the disciple. The player can designate another person and instead of uh you can do it by the priority or the special the special uh the thing that we done with earlier. Uh special priority. Or you can interrupt uh their current actions to get them to come and treat the disciple. So select the treated disciple. Health. We can see that the injury is getting better. Uh, this means that the disciple is getting effective treatment. Yeah, I gotta clear my throat quite a bit, so I might have to pause here and there. Okay. There are other items in the game that can increase uh treatment effect, such as talismans, the uh, ta talismans, um, acupuncture needles, and. Uh, this will require a player to get a deeper understanding of the game, okay? Next one, basic outer sack building. Check on building information thing. Oh no, uh not building, foundation, cultivation foundation. Okay, this is cultivation technique. As the picture indicates, outer sack disciples that have not undergone cultiva a cultivation session will lose 1000 points of foundation points. Even if they already completed their foundation, uh, they are not exempted from this, okay? So this is really what it says, and this is what work hard and cultivate hard. While when the outer side disciples have free time, they will do their best to cultivate, okay? So click this. In the game, outer side disciples can only complete their foundation when they reach 25,000 points and this is the prerequisite to become an inner sack disciple. Okay, I think this is here where I should explain this a little. Um, in many of these cultivation novels, there are normally, normally, okay, three levels of disciples and also the same with elders, three levels of elders. So, first one is the outer sack, then second is inner sack and the third one is core. Core disciples. Uh, some novels may go further and have a fourth level of disciple known as true inheritors. Basically, these are the people who might be taking over the sect in the future or being placed in key appointments. Um, and also there may be even more of uh from here because you know I can't speak for every single novel, but these are the common ones out there. Okay, so activate um, bitter cultivation, hard work and bitter cultivation. Okay, arrange for cultivating plant. 
Okay, so work. Cultivate. Okay, so this is their timetable. This is sleep, work, eat, cultivate, work, eat, work, eat, work, sleep. Okay, then you gotta build. Build, this is sack. Uh, cultivation location. Yeah, okay, build one. Pass forward time. Okay. Uh, players can make use of suitable arrangements or um, timing to ensure that outer side disciples can get to freely cultivate every day. Um, outer side disciples that have the work hard, cultivate, bitterly um, option will automatically cultivate when they have free time from work. As for some with special special settings and get foundational uh, values, their speed will be faster. Okay, I'm sorry. This one here feels a bit hard to translate somehow. Uh, but basically, there are some disciples that are special. I'm not sure whether it's it with special characteristics or... Yeah, I think it's talking about disciples with special characteristics that have a multiplier on their uh, foundation points. If not, there could be a special setting. I'm not sure which. Okay, uh, check on the bear, bear gob ladder. Okay, uh, players can hover it to check on the bear, bear gob ladder's foundational value. Okay, okay, bear gob. Okay, earth. Of um element medicine, it is currently rotting in the process of rotting. Not say rotting, but it's in the process. It will take eight hundred and thirty three days. Um, can be selected as food. It replenishes fifty as medicine. It gives you four thousand um four thousand foundational points, and I believe what this this bit below the four thousand is a uh, resistance to medicine ten percent. I got I think. What it might mean is that the first time I take it is 4,000 and then the effectiveness decreased by 10%. So the next time I take the same thing, it will be 3,600. I think so. I am not sure. Okay, after that, let's say spiritual energy 1, gathering, spirit gathering, spirit gathering 0, looks ordinary, considered a treasure and has no rank to it. Okay. Select this disciple. Okay, during the game, the player can check on their status at any point in time uh, and quickly obtain the Outer Side Disciples Foundation uh, information as well as make adjustments to uh, the disciples' cultivation. So, okay, we can click this. Okay, you can see this. He's 6 out of 2, 25,000. <clears throat> okay, select a uh, food. This is for eating. And eat the bag all. And this disciple has used by uh, has quickly increased a large amount of foundation points by eating the bag all. Yep, four thousand. In the games, you can also. Consume other spirit pills or herbs and stuff like that to quickly gain large amounts of foundational points. Um, there are also other ways to increase your speed of foundational gathering, foundational points gathering. This will require the player to explore deeper and understand it more. Okay, next one. How do you find a suitable cultivation technique and to match it? And let's see, so get disciples to take in masters and other common cultivation methods. Okay, let's see. Uh, take a look at this person's uh, foundational cultivation 
compatibility, I think. Okay, this this guy basically says that this this person found it has succeeded with the foundation. So as this thing this thing is filled up compared to just now, right? So this is he completed the twenty five thousand. F3, this one here, this basically says that, you know, promote to inner sec. Okay. Um, this disciple's uh, compatibility with the previous cultivation technique is too low. We can take a look at how the compatibility is with for the other disciples. Okay, so this one is 50%. So this is this particular cultivation technique. We'll take a look at this person. Okay, promote as well. Players can use this table to do a comparison to understand whether the uh, the disciple is this disciple is suitable for this particular cultivation technique. Um, the higher the value the more compatible it is. Uh, as a result, different disciples may be suitable for different kinds of uh, cultivation techniques. I believe it's the blue color part that is important. Right? So you can see 136. So you can choose different ones here and you can select. Okay. Let's see, this cultivation technique is suitable for females. If males forcibly cultivate it, their gender might undergo a change. This cultivation technique is good at long distance weapons and one will only undergo a tribulation, an initial tribulation, a baptism of tribulation uh, when they form a call. Do you want to practice this cultivation technique? Okay, so Another concept of cultivation novels is that when you reach a certain level, because cultivation by its nature is something that defies the heaven. So once you reach a certain level, the heaven will try to prevent you from going further, but at the same time still give you a chance to proceed. So normally what happens is there's a kind of a tribulation, usually lightning, and basically you've got to go through a few rounds of being struck by lightning, and once you pass it, you can move on. If you fail, well, you either die or get stuck. Okay, let's see. Let us proceed. Wait for disciple to level. Okay. Once the choice of cultivation technique is set, you cannot cancel it. Hence, the compatibility of the cultivation technique will have a very huge impact on the disciple's later cultivation. Okay, uh, accepting a master. Select a golden core stage inner sect disciple. Okay. Wow, okay. So, this cultivation technique is the... My gosh, I have no idea how to translate this. But let's just go with a uh, metal element. Okay, and this is a golden core stage cult... Uh, person, a female, and 556 years old, and I think the level is what, 241, something like that? So yeah, as you can see, she's, uh, you know, kowtowing to take in as a master. Now, select the golden core stage inner sect disciple. Masters can pass down their own techniques their own secret manuals, okay, to disciples, master, when they do that, uh, I think it requires less comprehension. When the first disciple advances to inner sec disciple, you can choose a golden core stage or above inner sec disciple to take in as a master, not the first disciple, when a disciple upgrades, okay. Um, if the disciple's cultivation technique matches the master's cultivation technique, the cultivation speed increases. Uh, players can click here.
tu... set the cultivation mode to auto. Um, so what will happen if the disciple will change the method as according to their body's condition automatically. So the other three options over here, cultivate, uh, meditate, I think, and practice. Yeah, as I think. So this will focus on cultivate until you reach the bottleneck. This will continue until your you meditate until your, your mental state is perfect. And you get comprehension experience through practicing. When, an inner, when a disciple enters the inner sect to cultivate, there will be four cultivation modes. Each mode will correspond to the inner sect disciple's different cultivation needs, such as um, focusing on gaining cultivation to quickly break through. Um, meditating was, is to raise their mental state to prevent them from falling into, from kind of going crazy. Uh, Practicing is primarily for getting comprehension points to learn secret manuals, etc. And if it's not convenient for the player to manage them, they can select to go automatic and the inner sight disciple will, will decide on their own based on their own various conditions and choose on their own. Okay, good, good, good. Next one. I forgot to read out what that is, but we'll see what it is. Okay, uh, understand how to extract essence or something like that. We'll, we'll see more with it. And automatic control of it. Okay, look at this. Essence of thought, energy. Players can hover over their player status to see the essence, to see essence value. Uh, when inner sight disciples cultivate, they need to maintain, they need to to expand, they need to use essence. When essence is zero, they cannot cultivate normally. During this point of time, they need to either eat, use medicine abuse, or well, those two to replenish. So this is kind of like cultivation energy. Players can hover here to see, to check on the effects of the essence pill. This is the essence pill. Um, can be selected, okay, it's a medicinal pill, item, spirit energy 0, gathering 0, looks ordinary, 5, rank is spirit item, and then grade is, rank is rankless. For 7 days it raises the body's uh, production of essence, the ability for the body to uh, produce essence, it increases satiety rate, and decreases the speed of going down, I think. It also raises the effectiveness of transformation of essence. Okay, so very frequently there is a natural energy in, in cultivation novels, there is natural energy going around the world in the surroundings. So you absorb them and you refine them into a more well refined energy. So I believe in this case this should be essence. And the way they do this to give it a numerical value is that you consume this essence to advance your cultivation. But in many novels, what happens is your core, your tan tian, or your core, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, is where your energy storage is and your cultivation is determined by the capacity to hold energy or the quality of the energy itself. But of course, this being a game, they need to quantify it in some way. Okay, so eat this thing and fast forward. Now it's three. Okay, so now by eating the medicine, uh, the medicinal pill, this disciple has recovered some essence, and you can cultivate. Inner sight disciples can also, uh, gain essence by eating, 
or raising their metabolism, uh, basically de- in- decreasing their hunger rate to exchange for rapid replenishment of essence. Okay, let's see. Cultivation technique. Open this. The supposed will automatically eat to maintain the essence uh, replenishment. Okay, so let's check it. Um, players can also click here to manage auto, uh, automate to automate medicinal pills. So the disciples will automatically choose to use medicinal pills to replenish essence. There are many um, items in the game that can increase efficiency of essence or repl- or you know regeneration or adding essence many are you know natural there are all sorts of natural treasures natural treasures being like plants uh, you know grown naturally there are medicinal pills talismans etc and it requires a player to have a deeper understanding and exploration of the game okay next one let's see i am not sure okay this one teaches us about two things i'm not entirely sure how to translate both but one is like fasting and i think the other one you literally translate as eating air so let's take a look at that okay players can hover over this to check on the fasting pills explanation Okay, 10 fasting pill can be selected food food value 50 um by eating the fasting pill you won't get hungry for two days ordinary look spirit item no rank okay check on his food requirements getting a bit low players can hover to see the food requirements uh current food points is 32 and the balance he require is 30. Okay, the balance point is 30. So basically what happens is, uh, also in many cultivation novels, uh, cultivators don't have to eat because they absorb in energy from the world, the surroundings, and that replenishes their energy as well. So uh, in this case, what they're saying is there's a balance point where they still have to eat, but they can also draw in energy from the surrounding. And... Pretty much the whole bracket says that innocent disciples can consume uh spiritual energy to replenish the the food the food uh values. Okay. And basically what happens is they will reach a balance where the number no longer goes up or down. That's an equilibrium point. Um yeah. Okay, so eat the pew. Fast forward time. And as you can see, now it's 80. His equilibrium point is 100. So that means he will automatically regain food points until he hits 100. Okay, in the game, uh, fasting means using uh, lowering of the disciples' hunger and water uh, expenditure. To lower their requirement for food and water. Uh, hence file henceforth this will result in lower investment in food and water. But you can also lower their when you lower their food and water needs, uh their yeah, you also end up lowering the amount of essence they can convert. Okay, let's see this one. This is the air drinking pill. Also, 50 food value, ordinary, spirit item. Uh, when you eat it, you will gain air eating ability and recover food value automatically. Okay, so I think the difference between one is literally you eat air, so you get full on air. And the other one, you're just fasting. So, yeah, your, your hunger doesn't drop. One, one goes up, one maintains. Okay, select this disciple here 
Uh, as you can see just now, food is 30, ballot equilibrium is 30. Okay. We make it eat and then take this. Food becomes 81, but the equilibrium point is 100, so it slowly recovers. Honestly, I'm still not really entirely sure. Okay. Drinking air means obtaining energy from your environment to maintain your hunger and water points. Uh, the more efficient your drinking air ability, the stronger the conversion. Um, the more, the more, the increase on the drain on food and water will result in an increase in conversion of food to essence. Okay. Let's see, next one, how to refine magic tools, magic treasures, uh, medicinal tools, and talismans. But before we do that, I think we really reached our time for today. So I think this is where we'll end off. Um, quick shameless plug, check out Immortal and Martial Dual Cultivation at hostednovel.com, cultivation web novel. So do check it out. And if you'd like to support me for either translating or the YouTube, you can do so in my Patreon. Uh, also, check out my merch store for Sweet Dragon and White merch. And also, I have an affiliate link for Book Depository. Basically, online bookstore ships everywhere. And I get small commission at no extra cost to you if you buy through my link. Uh, of course, make sure to get the best deal for yourself. Then get it just because it's my link. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Like the video if you liked. And ding the notification bell for more notifications. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys next time. Ciao!